Good evening, everyone. So, as I've been preaching, we've been preaching, Jimbo, if anyone, if, if you remember Jimbo the bear, this has been the Chinese. It's the Chinese. And by the Chinese, I mean the few that control Bitcoin. No news, no government, nothing. And whatever you see on TV is almost always wrong. 18, the world's largest bit from the friendliest people. Coin and blockchain conference came right here to New York City this week and was supposed to send cryptocurrencies to the moon, but instead they got wrecked. So what was it uh, about consensus? What, why did everyone down 18 percent, ripple down 8 percent? We're joined now by Fundstrat's Tom Lee, who was the first strategist. Tom Lee. Oh, who does he remind us of? Tom Lee? Charlie? Is Tom Lee and Charlie Lee related? They look the same. Are Tom Lee and Charlie Lee related? Well, they might as well be. Let's research that and we'll come back to it we'll just come to back. put out the call that consensus would lift bitcoin and the other now he was saying a week ago the boys were coming back up it's over it's over like are you kidding me are you kidding me when Wizzy said it the bull it's over it's a it's a bull run <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god i remember many of you said the same most of you said a lot of you not all of you but um I remember I got chastised. I was being chastised for saying the Chinese squeeze. Cryptos. Tom, what did you miss on this call? Well, I think clearly we were too optimistic. Um, you know, we were expecting mm. consensus because mm -hmm. there was a huge increase in the size of the audience that uh, given the uncertainty around bit. Okay, so clearly we were over optimistic now he's going over the reasons now look at this face i mean we all bullshit sometimes we have to force things even on like my youtube i sometimes have to like force energy um but i one of my strengths i always say i know my weaknesses but one of my strengths is i'm able to pick up i'm able to read people and reading people is the most important talent for any king, for any CEO, for any elite class. Want to be elite class? Learn how to read people, know if they're bullshitting, lying, telling the truth, or they don't know. Coin for most of this year, you know, with the wallet and um, regulatory overhang, that gathering a group of experts was going to reinvigorate confidence. But so here's what he just said. He basically says, so what we thought is getting people together and saying things are a bull run again would make it a bull run again so he just admitted i'm not going to say he lied he didn't I'm not saying he lied to everyone but they fabricated fabrication fabrication said i think we saw that there was a large audience it was probably a little tougher for folks to sort of you know discern the underlying message and that because we didn't get regulatory clarity Okay. I think there was mm, regulatory clarity isn't 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 the problem. There is no the Chinese and the big Bitcoin whales aren't sitting around going, oh, is the U.S. or that those times are over. That was back in January. No one's even thinking about regulations right now. Sorry. So I saw on Twitter you responding to somebody who was asking you about your call on consensus and basically you mentioned the right i mean did you think that we were going to get regulatory clarity because you said that was one area that, that fell short also the number of custodial announcements fell short there's some other things i mean did you think that the consensus would be that much of a breakthrough event for this industry um well to be clear what we thought would be a risk was if there was so she asked a good question right here if you didn't catch it she's like D so basically what she just asked here is, is the very last second she basically says what's important. Well, to be clear, what we thought was be a... Other things, I mean, did you think that the consensus would be that much of a breakthrough event for this industry? See, do you... Is she just called him out. Do you think fabricating that everything's... A, that we're in a bull market again was enough to really make it a bull market? She just put him on the spot. Now, let's see what he says. Um, 
Well, to be clear, what we thought would be a risk was if there was something that could push the regulatory picture incrementally negative. Um, and, you know, the absence of that would have been possible. So he did divert. He said, well, what we thought would be the issue is regulation. Positive. And I think in general, I kind of would say on, on balance, I think there was a slight negative tilt to the regulatory outlook. Sorry, that's not going to work. That because it was going to take longer than most expected to really get some certainty. So, Tom, you wrote in, in a note this morning about the institutional uptake. So the big thing that we've been talking about is when's custody going to be coming. We got a couple of those announcements today. Now the, now the task is getting the people at the institutions to buy in. There's usually, my experience, one yeah. little more. Anyways, group. so this is, you guys can watch the rest of this video. It was on CNBC. So just know that, and I, and I like this guy, uh, Tom Lee, I guess. But now, now uh, I have my eye in my ears attuned and so should you and now we know even further that whatever these guys are saying is the opposite so what this tells us this actually tells us that we just may bounce we'll sink below this line like a coke line right so when you will go psh, psh, and then maybe come back up and play around maybe not but let's do let's let's put it out there. Let's put it out there. Come down. Maybe even and it just bounced off. So whatever. I think that's good enough. I think this isn't too wild. The fact that we're drawing this, I'm not someone drawing every single, single direction going, oh, it could be here, 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 like everybody else. Look, I, I, the prophecy is being fulfilled. Oh, sh prophecy being fulfilled. We fulfilled prophecy again. I just, you know, the Chinese squeeze came a little early. But as soon as I put it out there, I even said, we might not make this. I said, if I was the Chinese, I'd pump it up one more time before I did the double button push. We even called the way that it did. This is, is like the float time. So we pushed the button, psh, chilled, and then, you know, eh, we, we came right back up here. So we were in the chill period for 12 to, yeah, about a week, about a week. And they pushed the button again. They push the button again. Now, more analysis here. So these get rejected, boop, boop, and it comes back up. So here's the first one, boop, boop, before the closing tickers. It's a little early to tell. It's a little early, but boop, boop, we'll see them. Maybe have have another breakdown. See you guys.